Hey there, this is Tim Friedel, and today I'm going to show you the fastest way possible to index your websites on Google. Now, 69 days ago, Google had a feature to allow you to ping Google or to request your pages to be indexed by Google. They disabled that feature, but today it is available again. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how you can index your pages by Google. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to do a Google search for Google Search Console because that is what you're going to need to, uh, yeah, to request Google to index your page. So click on the first results that you're going to get. Click on Start Now, and that will bring you to Google Search Console. Now, I recommend anyone to add their website to Google Search Console anyhow, but in our case, we need to do this in order to notify Google that we have a new site ready or a new page on our website. So to do so, you go to the left menu and you click here on Add Property. Now, we have two ways to add a property. We can use the left one, and this allows us to also add all subdomains, uh, but that requires DNS verification. I'm not going to show you how that works now. In this case, we're going to choose the right one, the URL prefix uh, that allows multiple verification methods. So in this case, I'm going to do HTTPS uh, go.timverdau.com. This is just another website that I own, but just to show you how this method works. So you click on continue. So you're going to add your website there, so just the main domain. And then you need to verify your ownership. Now, you can do that multiple ways. First of all, you can do that by downloading a Google HTML file that you need to upload to your website. Now, this is mostly for HTML websites that are not able to add code to the header. You can simply download this file and then you can go to your cPanel, go to File Manager and then upload that file to the main directory, to your public HTML folder. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I, I assume you know how to do that. The second way to do this is through an HTML tag. Now, most of people know how to add a tag to the header of your website. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this code and you're going to add that to the header of your website. Now, if you have WordPress, you can search for this specific plugin. It's called Hat and Footer Script. So to do that, you simply go and log into your WordPress site and click on plugins, add new plugin, and then search for head and head and footer script inserter. When you install that, so you click on install on the install button, you go to your, um, let's see where that is. It's to the page settings here to settings. And then you go to script inserter here. And then the only thing that you need to do is you need to paste that code that you just cut into this area. So you paste that in here and then you click on save at the bottom of this page. Now, once you've done that, you go back to here to Google Search Console and you click on verify and Google will automatically verify your site if you've done this correctly. Another way is to add your Google Analytics to do it this way in the tracking code. But this thing is the easiest way to simply add this to one of your uh, headers on your website. I'm going to remove this property because I already added my website to Google. Now, the second thing that you want to do, so once your site is to Google, you need to select your site in here. So this is my website. So this is the post that I just created in WordPress on my website. It's not visible on Google yet. Uh, so what I need to do is simply edit this post. I need to publish this post now to get the URL of this specific post. And there it is. You can see this is the post that I want to add to Google. So you can always search in Google if your website is in there to go to Google. When I go to Google here, I can do site and then you can add your URL. So what you're going to type is this. You do site and then the double point here and then you're going to paste the URL. Now, when I hit enter, you will see that Google says that this site has not been indexed by Google. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL. This is my new post that I want to get indexed into Google. I go back to Google Search Console 
And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on URL inspection, this part here. When you do that, you can paste that URL on top of this and you're going to hit enter. Now it's retrieving data from Google and it's going to, to, to tell me that the URL is not on Google. And that's right. We confirm that by doing the search on Google. And then what you need to do, the only thing that you need to do is you need to press this button, request indexing. So when I hit this button, it's testing if the live URL can be indexed. And this might take a minute or two. So it's now going to check if this URL is really on my website. And once that is done, it's going to confirm that it has been added to the queue of Google to be indexed to the search engines. And now it's done. And as you can see, it says indexing requested. URL was added to a priority crawl queue. Uh, and it also says submitting a page multiple times will not change its queue position or priority. But this is the only thing that you need to do uh, to get your websites indexed into Google. Now, the only thing that you need to do is to go to Google uh, a little later and to see if your website is getting indexed. Now, I have to say that right now it takes longer than it was taking before. Uh, and probably that is because this feature has been uh, yeah, enabled again. So hundreds of thousands of people right now are adding their websites to Google, requesting to, to get indexed again. So probably there will be more delay. But I've noticed in the past that I've done this when I created a new blog post. I've added it to Google Search Console. And literally a few minutes later, my post was indexed into Google. And this is really the fastest way possible to get your website indexed. Now, another thing that you can do is you can go to a website, which is called pingler.com, pingler.com. And this is an additional way that you can do is how to index your website on Google. You need to do the search query here, and then you're gonna paste your URL in here and you need to choose a category. So in this case, uh, let's see, this is marketing or other and then you click on ping and this will also uh, pingler will now also start pinging your websites to google and let google know that your website is also available on the web to be indexed now you don't need to fill out your email address in here it, it's asking for an email address uh, but it says starting ping process in two minutes this can be done for free you don't need to have an account you can simply go to this website ping your website uh, and this if you combine these two this is truly the fastest way possible to rank your, or not rank, to index your websites. All right, that's it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is valuable to you. And if you want to get more of my videos, I also do awesome product reviews of software products. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.